regreso aquí en Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota, gracias a DJ Caspa ahí en los controles ayudándonos en la producción del show, como todas las semanas. Y bueno, estábamos hablando ahí con el experto de la AAA, hablando sobre los mejores autos para ir y venir del trabajo. Y muy interesante la lista, la verdad, y se está reflejando la buena, la buena calidad, el, el, la buena, el, el buen value, la buena, el valor que tienen los autos nuevos en las ventas en Estados Unidos y se han disparado la, las ventas acá en Estados Unidos el mes pasado en marzo eh, prácticamente todos los fabricantes tuvieron eh, ganancias impresionantes por ejemplo Cadillac 50% Cadillac que estaba con el nuevo ATS está avanzando muy bien Porsche con el nuevo Cayman, el Boxster Buick también muy bien, Acura Ram eh, realmente todos los fabricantes están a, avanzando a un, a un paso acelerado como siempre ya durante más de 30 años diría yo, los autos que más se venden, los vehículos que más se venden en Estados Unidos, la Ford F-Series, 67.513 unidades, la otra pick-up, la Chevrolet Silverado, 39.561, estos son eh, indicativos de que sobre todo la industria del trabajo, de la construcción, de la agricultura está recuperándose, así que muy bien, y luego por vehículos en particular, el Nissan Altima, el Toyota Camry, el Honda Accord, eh, en el top 5 de los autos más vendidos acá en Estados Unidos en el mes de marzo y bueno, eh, hasta, está terminando la temporada de los auto shows acá en Estados Unidos estuvimos en Nueva York y esta semana uh, estuvimos aquí en Puerto Verde en el sur de la Florida, vamos a hablar con David Vélez, eh, representante de la SAI en la división juvenil de la Toyota que nos va a hablar del décimo aniversario de esta marca So Danny, thank you for having us here at uh, the Florida Auto Show, one of the smaller auto shows, but very important for uh, Toyota, actually for everybody, uh, all the manufacturers, this is a huge market, right, for everybody? Yeah, this is a great opportunity for us, although, you know, the Fort Lauderdale Auto Show is one of the smaller shows, it's still a great opportunity for us here in the southeast to showcase not only some of our existing products, but talk about some of the products that are come around the corner in the very near future here. Yeah, and Sion in particular has a pretty cool... Uh, line of products coming up with the 10th anniversary? Yeah, we're really excited about it. Uh, just recently we announced our 10th anniversary line. This year marks the 10th anniversary for Scion, so our complete lineup, all five vehicles, will have special 10th anniversary editions that will be featured later this year. And what, what will that like be, like paint teams, or what, what will that be? Well, you know, one of the primary examples is our, our incredible new Scion FRS, which was a huge hit when yeah. it was first well, introduced. Finally, for performance car, world Absolutely. performance car of the year. Absolutely, yeah. We, we were definitely very excited to introduce that vehicle originally, and now with its 10th anniversary, we'll have a special limited edition color, and it'll also have some additional features that you couldn't find on the existing Scion FRS, like LED headlights and push-button ignitions. So it's really going to set out, and it's definitely going to be something that our customers are going to be excited about yeah. when we showcase it. It's pretty incredible. Ten years already from Scion. I, I, a great idea that when it came out to like try to get more um, younger um, buyers. And it, it actually has worked a lot, right? It's worked really well. In fact, Scion has the youngest brand of any brand out there in the automotive industry. And it does a great job for us not only bringing in new customers into Scion as a brand, but, you know, those customers have a tendency to mature, as we would say, into yeah, the yeah. Toyota lineup. So it's great for us because we expand our family, but at the same time, we introduce fresh new products to a buyer that perhaps we may not have attract with our Toyota products. Yeah, and something interesting that has happened not only with Scion, but all other brands brands that uh, or other cars that, that some manufacturers have put out of the market to attract the younger audience it actually attracts like the older audience too like with the xv that happened right yeah xv is a great example you took the words right out of my mouth you know we find that uh Uh, our average customer on an XB is is quite a bit older than what we were hoping for, um, but they love it. <laughs> a nice surprise. Yeah, they love it because it's versatile. It's got great space and it's yeah. very functional. So, you know, at Scion, we're we're never going to turn anybody away. And yeah. and despite the fact that we hope to attract the younger buyer, even if you're a little bit older, as <laughs> long as you're interested, we'd be more than happy to exactly. take care of you. So, ten years of Scion, are pretty soon we're going to start. Oh, actually, we already can start talking about the classic Scion because that original. Alex B, the very boxy one. Some people love that one. And then the second generation came up. It's a little bit not as sharp as, uh, how can you say, like not as uh, dramatic as the original one. Like more people wanted like a more moderate design. But 
the original is a classic already, right? You know, that, that original XB is is timeless, and that's something that really helped propel Scion in, yeah. into a, a different element as a brand. So we're excited for, uh, for the opportunities that lay ahead, especially, again, with FRS. You know, that marks, as you said, the first time that we've had a sports car in quite a long time. Yeah. And to put a Scion badge on it is a great step for Toyota as a brand and as a family because it gets us back into those vehicles that are instantly recognizable and will help us attract uh, new and hopefully young buyers. Yeah, and that car actually was uh, nominated as a finalist for both World Car of the Year and Performance Car of the Year. So it's a fantastic car. I've already driven it, and it's really a great car. So what else can we expect from Sion in the next uh, few months, uh, maybe for 2014? At New York, at the auto show, they were showing cars for 2015 already. Yeah, Sion is always a forward-thinking company. And, you know, it, it, working with the folks out in California, we're really happy to uh, showcase their products here in the Southeast. And, and our primary goal this year is to highlight that 10th anniversary lineup. We're really excited that it's not going to be only one vehicle, but the entire lineup, all five Sion products are going to have 10th anniversary special editions available to all of our customers here in the southeast United States. And that's all throughout the 2013 model year? That's correct. Yeah, everything's going to be available not just here in the southeast, but also throughout the nation. It will be in limited supply, so again, it, it will hopefully increase the marketability and, and uh, attractiveness of those vehicles. Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much, Dan, for your time here at Fort Lauderdale, and uh, we'll take a look at all the other cars. Thanks so much. Pleasure thank talking you. to you. Bye. Appreciate it. Y bueno, ahí después de la entrevista con eh, Danny Vélez de Zion, eh, pasamos al stand de la Ford, donde en realidad no había ningún modelo nuevo, pero sí una novedad, que el nuevo Ford Fiesta, el auto compacto de la Ford, ahora viene con una tecnología que es eh, eh, Mikey, que lo que nos van a explicar aquí el, el experto James Galway, una tecnología para ayudar justamente a los jóvenes eh, a que tengan una, una experiencia de manejo más segura, y un poco más de tranquilidad para los padres. Así que vamos a escuchar la entrevista con James Galtzney sobre la nueva tecnología que viene ahora como parte del equipo estándar del nuevo Ford Fiesta 2014. Hola, Jim, uh, aquí en Fort Lauderdale, y um, estamos aquí estudiando la nueva Fiesta, que no es solo muy atractiva por el color, muy really green, perfecto para Miami o para South Florida. Pero también este carro tiene muchos buenos elementos para el consumidor, muy accesible, like como the meat teens, like 15,000 around that, and then I have great technology too, right? Yes, it does, it does. It's it's jam-packed with technology, and uh, and it's very affordable. Yeah. And one of those things, like, now that my key, like, my key technology, the safety technology yeah. for basically controlling your keys. <laughs> <laughs> it's standard now, right? <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, and it, it, it does. It, uh, if you have young kids that are going to be uh, that are going to be driving the vehicle, uh, it, it, it helps them develop uh, develop good driving habits. Yeah, and that's one of the things that all manufacturers are doing, like helping parents really to teach how uh, to drive to, to their kids. Yeah. Because before, like when we, you and me learned to drive, we thought, here's the kids going. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and then, like it, it was yeah. pretty much dangerous. And as, and as parents, we can't be in the car with our kids yeah. all the time. Uh, so this is a, an additional feature that, uh, that again, it coaches the, the driver. It helps develop those uh, those good driving habits, and it's available on the Fiesta. So can you explain a little bit how, what does uh, MyKey do? Sure, sure. MyKey allows the primary driver to program things like top speed, uh, radio volume, uh, things that can be a distraction or a hazard to a younger driver, uh, allows them to program maximum limits. So it won't allow the radio to go above a certain uh, volume, won't allow the radio to uh, to come on until the seatbelt's engaged, uh, and it can, you can also limit the top speed of the vehicle. So if you know you're going to have a younger driver who may want to drive a little bit more yeah. aggressively, you can limit the top speed of the vehicle. Does it already uh, limit distance? Like they say, you cannot drive more than 50 miles away from home, or not yet? No, no. It doesn't limit distance, so it won't uh, it won't turn the car off. But that's probably going to be the next step, right? No, I don't know. I mean, we also we want to make sure that as we build in technology that it remains safe as well. So it's something that would limit the distance. I mean, you wouldn't want to turn the car off on somebody when they're in the middle of I-95, right? Yeah. <laughs> but if that, you, that could be more dangerous than exactly, driving. Exactly. But if you have a young teenager who may be a little aggressive in the driving, you may want to keep them below 70 Yeah. Uh, make sure that they don't go over a certain speed limit or, you know, the radio. When we were kids, the radio could be a uh, distraction, right? You get and a bunch some of... cities, is actually a, a fine. Absolutely. Like, you're being too loud, right? Yes, absolutely. So you can also limit the uh, the volume of the radio as well. It's, it's a really cool technology. So this car model is what's uh, the, the MSRP for this car? Uh, 
around 15,000. Around 15,000, yes. And then, wow, that's 15, a pretty amazing. And the great thing about the Fiesta is for around $15,000, you can get great technology like my key. You don't have to step up to a luxury vehicle. You can get it uh, on the Fiesta. That's incredible. And this is a 2014, but we're only April 2013, so we're like into the future already. Yeah, yeah, this is the, this is the 2014. It's here. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time here, and uh, we're going to keep enjoying here the auto show in Florida. Fantastic. Thanks. Thank you, okay. Pues hay dos entrevistas sobre autos dirigidos o pensados para el mercado más joven, para los consumidores más jóvenes, buena tecnología para que los padres también puedan tener un poco más de paz mental, ese sistema Mikey es muy bueno que limita la velocidad del volumen del radio, que aunque no lo crean es una gran distracción y puede ser causa de un accidente si los chicos están manejando y bueno, eh, no ponen atención o ponen demasiada atención a la música y no a la carretera, así que Dos autos magníficos por eh, precios eh, bastante accesibles, eh, ahí en el caso del Ford Fiesta, alrededor de 15 mil dólares y un auto que puede ser equipado con gran tecnología y lo que está pasando en todas las fabricantes en realidad es eso que están eh, incluyendo eh, eh, Bluetooth, eh, acceso eh, y arranque sin llave, este tipo de tecnologías de seguridad, muchas cosas por precios que antes, por precios que son bastante accesibles, debajo de 20 mil dólares y los hacen muy accesibles. No se vayan que cuando regresemos vamos a un auto que no es accesible para nada, un Bentley, estuvimos aquí con el presidente de la Bentley, Christoph George, aquí en Miami, en la presentación del nuevo Flying Spur, aquí en Miami Beach.